Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial number 15. It's titled Two Objects Hit. I have the Flash program opened and I'm going to open a new document. Action Script 3. We'll keep all the defaults. OK. And we'll start off by going, opening the library panel. I have mine docked here. If you don't have it docked, you can pick it up under Windows. Make a new symbol. It's a movie clip. Square, S-Q-U-A-R-E, 1 underscore M-C. And we're in that movie clip right now. Square movie clip. And let's make a square keep the black stroke and let's use a blue fill holding my shift down it's my square Go back to scene one open the library panel drag it anywhere on the stage call this square s q u a r e come over to the properties panel It's not highlighted. Pick up your selection tool, highlight it, and we want to give this an instance name of SQUARE1 underscore MC, same as the instance of name. All right, close that. Lock this layer, open a layer, call it Action Script, AS Action Script, select frame one and open your actions panel. We're going to type in some code. I'm a slow typer so I'm pasting it. Type, 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 type in it. There it is. And this is the code that if you did my tutorial 14, it's the same code. It's to allow us to click and drag and move that square around. It's a on enter frame type code so that every time it goes into this frame one it's going to allow this to happen and it starts off by stage s t a g e period a d d capital e v e n t capital l i s t e n e r that's all blue if it's spelt right open bracket then event capital e v e n t period and this is all capital letters enter underscore frame and those three words will be blue if you have it spelt right there's a comma and this can be anything you want I'm calling it enter each frame close bracket semicolon as long as you have this here the same as this you're all right so you can just copy this and paste it down here every time we enter the frame we're going to do this function F U N C T I O N. this is like a purplish color there's that enter each frame bracket E for event colon E V E N T capital E close bracket another colon void that's just for communicating between the program and the and the computer here's my open curly bracket for this function and way down the bottom here this is the closed curly bracket for this function and inside that function there are two other functions this is the first one square one movie clip that's that movie clip we just made period this add event listener you could just copy this and paste it in here there's an open bracket and this is a mouse event capital M capital E period all capital letters mouse underscore down so from here to here is all blue if it's spelt right and from here to here is blue if it's spelled right. The open bracket is not blue, it's black. Then I have a, a comma, and just like up here, I'm calling this drag square, close bracket, semicolon. Here's the function for that. So it's listening for the most to go down. When the most is pushed down, it goes into this function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. You could copy this drag square and just paste it in here. It's an event with a colon, mouse event, 
close bracket, colon void again. And what are we going to do in this function? Is we're going to move the movie clip by starting the drag. So here's the inside of this function, an open curly bracket, square one underscore movie clip period, start drag, small s, capital D, open and close bracket, semicolon, and there's the close curly bracket for this function. The second part is to stop the drag. This stage could have been I could have put square one underscore MC here, or I could have put this stage up there. They're interchangeable. I'm just showing you that either works. Uh, period, add, add event listener, the same add event listener here. The same most event is up here. The only difference here is we have most up instead of most down. Comma, and now drop the square instead of dragging it. We're going to drop it. Close bracket semicolon and here's the function as long as this is spelt exactly the same as this you're all right close bracket this event colon most event you could copy this thing here and put it down here it's exactly the same there's my open bracket and close bracket for this function and square one underscore mc stop the drag and naturally way down here we have the other close curly bracket for the on frame so let's give that a try test the movie and I don't see any errors back here and this is what we actually did on tutorial 14 go back to the timeline Drag this back up. Let's make another movie clip. Lock the all the layers. Select the squares layer. Insert a layer. Call it ball. B A L L. Select frame one. Go to your rectangle tool. Click on it. That little corner. Click on the oval tool. Hold your shift down and make a ball. There it is. Grab your selection tool, select it, come up here, modify it, convert it to a symbol. Just showing you a different way of making a movie clip. Call it B A L L 1 underscore M C. Ball 1 underscore M C. And let's double click on this, click on it again till, till it turns blue inside like that, till you get those little fuzzies. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to click on it, click on it, click on it till the blue inside is fuzzy. Come over here and make it red. Go back to the movie clip. I don't have this anymore. Go back to scene one. It's already on the stage, so we don't have to drag it on the stage. That's the convenience of making it while you're on scene one. But we still have to come over here to the properties panel while it's selected. If it isn't selected, use your selection tool open it up here we got to give it an instance name if we're going to write script on it and b a l l one underscore m c there it is close that lock all layers select frame one of the action layer open your action panel scroll down till you get to the bottom where you see these last two curly brackets put your cursor after the second last one so you're really between these two Put in an enter, and I'm going to put a couple in here. Put a couple enters in here, and type in this. Type, type, type. It's a test. And tests are done by the if statement. And it says if, and that should be purplish color, bracket, ball one underscore movie clip. That's the one we just made. Period. Hit test object. That's all one word. Cap. It's a small H, a capital T, and a capital O. If you spell it right, that turns blue. So if this ball hits open bracket, square one underscore MC, that's the other movie clip, the blue one, the square, close bracket, close bracket. If that happens, 
Then what's ever inside of these two curly brackets, I got an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. And in between them, I'm doing what's called a trace, just something to let me know they hit. And in another, another tutorial, I'll do something, something with this. T-R-A-C-E, it should be blue. Open bracket, and I got in quotations here, quotation. There was a hit, open quote, close quote. If you have this right, they'll be green. Close bracket, the close bracket should be black, and there's a semicolon, and of course, should be two curly brackets here, one for this if statement, and that's the one for the on enter frame. So if that works right, when we test our movie, on my output panel, I don't have anything yet, no, no errors or anything. So now when I drag this and hit this, it says there was a hit. And you can use this for many things in computer type games. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.